This is a 32-year-old male with a history of fever, night sweats, and sore throat for greater than one week. On physical exam, multiple palpable cervical lymph nodes were appreciable. These findings are confirmed on the sagittal T1-weighted image. The post-contrast fat-saturated axial T1-weighted images demonstrate asymmetric enlargement of the left falchal tonsil, resulting in effacement of the left glossotonsillar sulcus. The tonsil demonstrates peripheral enhancement and central necrosis. More inferiorly within the neck, several enlarged lymph nodes are identified. The limited sections through the intracranial vault on the fat-saturated T2 and post-contrast T1-weighted sequences demonstrate a single peripherally enhancing centrally necrotic lesion centered within the left brachium pontus. This patient was ultimately diagnosed with tuberculosis, tonsillitis, and adenitis with a solitary tuberculoma in the left brachium pontus. Tuberculous inflammatory cervical adenitis, or scrofula, usually presents as a painless posterior neck mass, or masses, with or without systemic symptoms of infection. The usual source of infection results from contaminated milk with Mycobacterium bovis. Intracranial manifestations of tuberculosis may take two forms, either tuberculous meningitis and or intracranial tuberculoma. Symptoms from intracranial tuberculoma are usually the result of local mass effect and associated edema. Tuberculomas may be solitary or multiple and occur in both the supra- and infratatorial compartments.